I'm probably going to regret wearing a Santa hat today. But it's the 22nd of December. Screw you. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever I want. So. So I'm pretty sure no one was wondering how I make my uh, legato, portamento, taco, burrito, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The, the synths that, that kind of like glide over each other. Every time I switch notes, there's a giant fly in here. Regardless. No one was wondering it, but I'm making a video about it anyway. So I'm going to show you what lead I used in 2015. All the freaking time. And... Let me just sit, let me just tell you, sit down, because there's a lot of work that goes into this, okay? Watch this, watch this. Ta-da! I told you, man, it's, it's a long process, okay? Seriously. So about late 2015 to like early 2016 this was where i actually started to put some effort into my uh leads and well i guess define effort because i use like the same one each and every time anyway but there were some other producers that came up to me and they were like you should probably vary up your sense more you don't want your stuff sounding all samey so i was like okay fine at first i was a little disheartened because it was kind of like Damn, man, that's kind of like my signature sound, even though it was so simple, for some reason, it's tied to me, in a way. I guess it's probably because no one would use such a simple synth, or, you know, such a... It's literally just a saw wave with reverb, and... I don't know, I, I just always liked using it for that reason. It was just it was just so simple, but it worked. Anyway, um... So, like, for 2016, there was this one synth that I really wanted to make, and it was done by TGH. A lot of his remixes had, like, this this square wave, like this distorted square wave sound that I really like. The way I did it was, uh, it, it was, it was some really weird way. I, I, let me see if I still have the preset for it though. No, I named it Muffet Synth because that was the first song that I made it in, in like a, a work in progress of a, a spider dance remix that I made. I, I'll probably pull it up if, I, if I'm not a lazy asshole in editing. Uh, it doesn't seem like I have the preset, but basically it was like a square wave with a chorus effect, some reverb, some EQ, and it, it was actually a lot to do. So this was practically the synth that I used in all of 2016 or at least late 2015 and basically like half or most of 2016. What I would usually do is just add reverb to it and a lot of legato. Well, not legato in this case, more portamento. And the reason why was because for some reason, if I were to play two notes at a time, it sounds really, really dissonant, really disgusting. So in this case, I would have to use portamento. Portamento will have a sliding connection between these two notes, even though they're pretty much um, not touching at all. I'll be honest, the way I explained it in the video when I was recording it was kind of terrible, so I'm gonna try to do a very quick, better explanation in post. Basically, for lack of a better term, Portamento would have this note glide to the next without needing to overlap each other for activation, and Legato actually needs that overlap to activate the gliding between the notes. So yeah, um, some examples of songs that I used it in was, let's say, I think the best example I can think of is the Aquatic Ambience remix I made in uh, mid-2016, like early to mid. Uh, I've used that lead in that one a lot. In late 2016, early 2017, I would say, I don't know, I didn't use it that much. I basically went back to the Nexus saw, but I did add a bunch of effects to it one day, and it sounded, um... It basically ended up sounding a lot more complex than literally just a saw. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open the mixer track state just to show you what I did. It's called the Sexy Lead. <laughs> I have great names. I, I, I'm telling you, I do. So let's see if I can explain what I did almost a year and a half ago. Hmm. Okay. So th what the fuck is this? Well, let me show you how it sounds like. Yeah. 
you, you get it. That I, I think you recognize what that. Um, I hope you recognize what that melody was because that was the first, the first song that I actually used this lead in. So I'm gonna try to see if I can go through exactly what I did because this looks like a lot. But first of all, this EQ <laughs> it doesn't really <laughs> doesn't really add much to it. It's like one of those extremely gradual things, and I honestly can't really explain. Wish I can go back in time to myself and ask myself. What the hell was your thought process with this EQ? But <laughs> well, whatever. I added some chorus. Basically just takes the same sound, detunes it just a tiny bit and stacks it on top of each other to kind of give it like a more... I'm not even going to try to explain it. Because once I do, I'm going to sound like a fucking idiot. So, stereo enhancer. So it makes it sound like... Instead of... Okay? Okay. Also, reverb. Another EQ. Okay, this one, this EQ actually did something. It took out a little bit of the mids because it probably, probably is like sounding very muddy if I were to put the mids back in. And this free filter, the fuck was this for? Oh. Oh, this is probably for the song. Like, I, I remember there was a part of the song where um, it came out from a low pass filter. It was, I think it was during the build up when I, I did that really weird, crazy solo. And I, that's probably where I also put in the reverb. So I just forgot to take it out in the preset. Oops. So yeah, uh, 2016's synth that I spammed all the time, or technically 2017's synth that I spam all the time, was basically just a simple saw with a fuck ton of effects on it. And then the, the one that I've been using a lot lately, I, I uh, here, let me just show you what it is now because i've been i've been leaning a lot towards this one it's called uh this it's called lava lead now the reason why it's called lava lead was because the first song that i used it in was the lava reef remix in you know from sonic mania what i did was i added another voice put it in unison I put the pan very low so basically what it did was it kind of squished it down to the middle it took the two sounds that are detuned from each other and squished it down to the middle just a little bit you know so you see it right here in the pan knob it's panned a little bit but not that much and the pitch difference is very very minimal very very minimal and then i also added some distortion to it so it sounds like this So yeah, I, this was a completely pointless video, but I gotta do more videos like this because I take myself way too seriously. Thank you and good night. Every single, there he is. Fucking.